This is Mars. This is my favorite video of the surface of Mars, actually the only video of the surface of Mars, taken by the Marty Imager strapped to the world's largest extraterrestrial rover, hanging underneath the largest supersonic parachute ever built, two and a half miles above the skies of Mars. It was my luck to lead the team that developed the landing system to put Curiosity on the surface of Mars. And I want to share with you today about how much we got wrong on the way to finding out what was right. And how I encourage you never to let the fact you might be wrong get in the way of you trying to find out what's right. Now, to get to the surface of Mars, you have to do four things. You hit the atmosphere going about 10,000 miles an hour. That slows you down to about 1,000 miles an hour as you burn a hole through the sky on Mars. Then you have to open up a parachute. That gives you a neck snapping 12 Gs and slows you down further. But not slow enough, you end up having to use rockets. These rockets, if they're fancy rockets with throttles, they'll slow you landing down to maybe one or two miles an hour, but maybe as fast as 10 miles an hour. All times we've ever gone to Mars, we've done these four things. Here are the rovers we've put on the surface of Mars, starting in 1997 with a little tiny Sojourner rover about the size of a microwave oven, followed on by 2004 with Spirit and Opportunity, twin rovers about the size of a coffee table. In 2012, we put down the big kahuna. Curiosity, 900 kilograms, bigger than a car. Landing her, especially that final touchdown part, was really hard. We tried everything. We started with airbags to cushion the final blow. We'd use that for the little rover, Sojourner, and the twins, Spirit and Opportunity. But at 900 kilos, there are no fibers known to humankind strong enough for us to make a fabric that the bags would work. So that was out. We thought about using a legged lander. You know, boom, boom, land on, it, land on it and just drive the rover off. But one of our legged landers failed. And as we were looking at that failure, learning from our mistakes, we concluded that putting a 900 kilo rover on a legged lander, way too tippy. So that was out. We tried to solve the tippiness by adding more legs to the lander and splaying them out, letting the lander do a belly flop on Mars. Unfortunately, the uh, fuel tanks with fuel that's toxic and explosive sit down on the, in the belly of the beast and exploding on touchdown, considered very for, poor form. So we armored up the belly of the beast and it got so heavy, we couldn't launch it off of Earth. Three times we got it wrong, until finally we came together, looked at all of the things we'd gotten wrong, and, and asked, can we put it together to find something right? And this is the solution we came up with. We called it the sky crane. Problem is, we couldn't test it here on Earth. We had just one test, an expensive test, on Mars. The team had to gather together, and we had to see if what we had done was really right. Coming up on entry. The able reports entry interface. At this time, it will begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. The vehicle's just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. We have seen peak deceleration. We should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. The parachute is deployed. We are decelerating. The chill step has separated where we found the ground. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers descending. Standing by for batch shell separation. 
We are in power flight. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. Standing by for sky cream. Sky cream is started. Single dive, you remain strong. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on guard. We got it right. But it took us a long time, and it took us getting it wrong several times before we figured out what to do that worked. And I want to encourage you to always keep that positive spirit. Never worry if you get it wrong, because you have to travel along a road of wrong to find your way to right. Thank you for your attention.